there we have stealth through the trees welcome to uk theme parks my name's adam and today we are taking our final closed season look at fort park two weeks before it opens to the public uh, we will be here on opening day as well which we're not always nope sometimes it's earlier on so sometimes it's like a thursday but this time it does open on saturday the 25th and we will be here we will be here so we're gonna have a final look a final look kurt yeah at see what we can see before the park opens we get inside and yeah you know the big news is everyone's gonna roll down 26th saturday yeah we're on the 26th <laughs> um before everyone heads down to old town and obviously see what happens let's check out the park from the outside down here at rumba rapids these are the only boats we can see just sort of lined up here and these are the ones without tires on the bottom now obviously with two weeks left to open in we would expect rumba rapids to be fully operational sort of testing back all the boats back in uh, these are modified boats to be fair all apart from one so you can see the number 10 hasn't been modified so that one's obviously been there quite a long time where the other three have have obviously been on the course since the boats were modified and we can hear it running as well, can't we, Cup? Yeah, we can hear it. We can definitely hear water. Oh, there's, yeah. there's stuff right, right there. Right? Yeah, so the um, boat is going round. Don't know if you can see it. Just at the top of the lift. Tidal wave there. actually in the background. Right? Yeah, and tidal waves going down oh, as well. So it's full steam ahead here at Fort Park, ahead of opening. Um, and yeah, it's good to see. It's good to see rides going round. Love seeing rides going round. Now we'll see everyone's pointed out, Kurt. Yeah. That um, it's had a little bit of a refresh. Oh, there you are, look. Rumba Rapids. Yeah. It's had a little bit of a refresh and a little bit of a paint job. And it does seem to get a paint job every couple of years. So I'm not going to get too excited about any other changes on the ride, to be honest with you. It's got the nice green top. At least. Yeah, it's got a nice new green top. I have to say, if I'm being honest, I still don't think the ride's got long left at Fort Park. So I'd be very, very surprised if they did a lot of work to it um, in terms of theming, changing a tunnel or anything like that. I just can't see the park doing it, to be honest with you. Um, it's quite a labour intensive ride now due to the, uh, you know, well, the restrictions really they bought in themselves, to be perfectly honest with you, uh, with the accident which happened, unfortunately, at Drayton Manor. But yeah, it's running going around running um staff training looks like it's on we did see a few staff at the bus stop actually so we know that they've been here and they've uh, they've been working hard and we know that the rides have been testing we've seen it online and yeah tidal wave and rumba rapids all going around as the park prepares as we look through you can still see there's a lot of sand there a lot of sand right outside of rumba rapids there so we can see that saw is still testing as well quite late in the day oh, off it goes into the distance back down at the other end of the park now in monk's walk looking over at the old loggers leap so as we said last time we do know it's going we do know a new roller coaster is coming we don't quite know what it is yet we don't quite know the design um, and we're assuming it opens in 2024 i still don't think there's going to be much construction happening here for the next six months which is why it's a bit of a surprise by the looks of things that Rocky Express is going to stay standing but not operating and why indeed the timber tugboat has gone to Chesington rather than staying here. That said, we are still super, super excited. It's exciting that we're two weeks away and the rides are running. You just saw a clip there of a saw going around, uh, which you can just see over in the background here. And I don't think we've got long left of Logger's Leap. There was a little close up there of Rocky Express, which is still in situ. And I have to be honest now, I think this late going into the new season, I don't think that it's going anywhere, to be honest with you. I think it's very much going to stay standing, but not operating for the 2022 season. Will it be relocated at Fort Park? I'm not sure. I'm not sure, to be honest with you. A lot of people have asked about Creek Freak Massacre. It's a fairly new maze, to be honest. It's only operated a couple of years, given the year break it had in the middle. And we know the park spent a lot of money on it. I don't think it's gonna be operating in that location by any means, by any means in October. There is no way Fort Park will be able to wait until October before starting to rip 
um, loggers leap out. I can't believe it. You know, where Chesington are sort of only really now just starting to get to grips with the area they're on, they are working on a pretty much flat basis. They're not working on a lake, they're not working on removing a ride, they're not working on anything like that. And of course the area isn't going to be as big and the scale of the coaster isn't going to be as big either as what Fort Park are putting in. So Creek Freak Massacre might move somewhere else in the park, would be my guess. Um, they could probably just move it around here, to be honest with you, around the entrance area. We know it's built over the Loggers Leap station, but I'd be very, very surprised if they want to start pulling down Loggers Leap and leave an attraction there to allow people into this area in order to use it. Can't see it happening, to be honest with you. Will it open somewhere else? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think that's something we'll sort of have to wait and see a bit closer to the time. You might be able to hear in the background, but Nemesis Inferno is now going round after we've walked away from it. So we believe that this is actually some, um, this is new work, 100% new work of what's going on in the park. And it may be what's happening down by Rumba Rapids, whether or not they're changing that area, updating it, sorting out the pavement. Be really interesting to see when we open. Uh, quite late, they, they certainly wasn't there last time we come last month. I've been attacked by a tree. <laughs> certainly wasn't there when we came last month, but Good to see, good to see some changes, good to see the rides going around. We've heard Inferno, we've seen Saw, we've seen Rumble Rapids, and we've seen Tidal Wave all testing today ahead of opening in two weeks' time. So nice and early, nice and early. Did you see something we didn't let us know here on UK Theme Parks in the comments below? Thank you for joining us from Fort Park Resort. We'll see you next time.